I'm not here to rub or give anyone a bad name. You've been hearing me scream about Billy Bates for over 18 months. You've been hearing me scream about Sausage Neck's involvement within that murder. It doesn't matter if Billy Bates is English's mum's brother. It does not matter. The bottom line is he was going to snitch on them for a murder. He had to go. And he was gone. He was set up by English. He was ambushed. He was beaten and sliced to death. He was put in a petrol drum and placed in the water. As they were cleaning the water out, they found the metal drum. They pulled the drum out and his, decompos his de decomposing body was in the drum. He was only identified by English's mother due to the rings on his finger. One in particular, spelling dad in dark stones. What do you want to say about that, people? Two unsolved murders, City of Glasgow, 2007. Tam Cameron, Billy Bates. He's all know the dance, he's all know done it. The kid's on his toes, he entered back into Scotland, Derek Ferguson did, I think it was in 212, under false ID. Before he could be captured, he was gone again. His main source in Scotland, his main intelligence source in this country, if you like, is Sausage Neck. When Sausage Neck's going to Dubai once a year, he's going to spend time with Derek Ferguson and the Kinian Cartel. Derek Ferguson has been linked to the Kinian Cartel for a long, long time before he'd done the murder. If you don't believe me, go and look it up. You know, delve deep. I've had more information supplied to me by local glass regions. It is what it is. Sausage neck is not liked and cannot walk around in certain parts of Glasgow due to his actions. He can frequent Edinburgh more than his own city. He's fast to write me off saying, I can't go into my city. I can't go into my city because I'm promoting a message that protects the children from dirty, rotten dealers. You can't go into your city because you lend, you led a good person to, to hundreds of people to his death. You can't go into your city because you're guilty of the participation that you played within that murder of Billy Bates and Tam Cameron. You as the dealer who was owed £300, who went and cried to Derek Ferguson over the £300 debt that Tam Cameron owed to you. You went and cried to them and Uncle Billy Bates. You then went and set Billy Bates up for the murder he committed to get your money back. Do you understand, rat? Out there, say what you want. Why did I bring that up? Oh, he's only saying that because it's English. No, I'm saying that because it's two unsolved murders and their topics that the Real Crime, Real Time podcast will always focus on. It doesn't matter if you haven't got the content to go with the words. It doesn't matter if you haven't got the visuals and the little camera team behind me to make my content powerful. It's irrelevant. What I'm speaking here is facts. What I'm speaking here is true crime. And that's what you want to hear. You want to hear crime. You don't want to hear crime whipped added on so no one's offended. I'm speaking about crimes and I'm naming individuals that are responsible for these crimes. The evidence, convictions, how much money you've got, organisation you're a part of. I'm convinced you're part of that murder, you're getting named. And that's what you're getting with my channel and that's what you're getting with this YouTube platform. You never have and you never will. You know that, Jay Dre. You know, I might get a few, I might get a little bit of, you know, young Billy, old Billy. It doesn't matter. The point I'm making is he was led to his death by someone he thought he could trust. A lot of people have trusted the same individual, and he's still breaking them trust chains. Now, you will have thought he would have learnt, but no. So what I'm going to do, people, how long is that? 
36 minutes. I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to put it straight up. And then I'm going to come back on my live. Okay? Hope you're good. If you don't believe anything I've just said, you don't have to. I'm not trying to make you believe me. You know, that's what it's all about. That's what these platforms should be about. You should have people on your platform who's speaking. And then you should be able to sit there, whether you're with a friend or not, and form an opinion. Is he chatting or isn't he? If you think he's chatting, why don't you look into it a little bit and see if there are any facts coming into it? You know, Google names, search places, look at unsolved murders, do what I do, research, gain the knowledge before you speak about it. It's very important. Chloe's asking me not to go. Why not? <laughs> Why don't you want me to go? <laughs> but listen, it is what it is. You've seen me trying to move on. You've seen me, you hear me re repetitively saying to you, I can't keep on speaking about these. I can't keep on doing this with them. But when I'm speaking about them now, it's not because I'm upset. It's not because I'm, you know, me emotions are torn with them. It's me being me, having my opinion on stuff, reacting to certain situations that's going on. The only reason I'm reacting to them is because every one of them's offending me. Every one of them's still using my name, whether it's in a title, whether it's just coming out the lips for some sort of traffic towards it. It's mad. If you think about it, I've got nothing. I've got no family. I've got no luxuries. I've got no people around me. I've got no business. I've got no financial secure infrastructure around me. Why the f do I get harassed like this when I've got nothing? It's their plane to see in it. I've got absolutely nothing. All you'll ever see is me on a screen speaking truth. I've got nothing but truth. I've got nothing but words of wisdom, words of truth. I've got a message I'm trying to deliver and I've got the bad poisonous energy around me trying to shut it down. I can't keep on sitting here screaming this, 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 this because you've seen the angle they've all came from. You've seen the same hymn sheet that they've all been singing from. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is what it is. Always keep yourself real. Don't participate with that group just because you're feeling lonely. Don't participate with that group because they give you a little bit of money and let you know what it could be like if you commit. Commit to your life. Commit to your dreams. Commit to your identity. Never forget who you are. Don't let no demon or pagan steal your identity. And they come in all shapes and sizes. They come in all forms. It doesn't matter, female or male. Remember who you are. Keep yourself secure. Don't let no one steal your identity. Work on your identity. Work on your life. Work on your dreams. And keep it all to yourself. Because there's demons and witches everywhere waiting to sabotage you. If you're a good one, if you're good-natured, if you've got good morals intact, if your character is in place, if you're treating people accordingly, follow your dreams and everything will align itself to you. Just shh. Don't tell no one your secret. L5, choose a life, not a knife. Cal Mac UK, keep it real. Understand why I'm here. It's not for the money, although I hate nice when I get the money. It's for the benefit of the message. The reason I'm breathing now, the reason I stop engaging with certain individuals that can lead me down a path of destruction, the reason I've not committed acts of violence, the reason I don't participate in crime to receive money is all thanks to Choose a Life, Not a Knife UK. It works in abundance for me. It works in abundance for me in every department of my life other than financially. You don't need money to be a powerful individual. 
Money can make the individuals around you powerful. But you're the powerful one in your life. No one else. Embrace your identity. Always remember that seed of positivity. And always remember to water throughout the day. It's not I could be or I should be. It's I am. I will be. I'm doing so. I'm going there. Not I want to get there or I want to be here. I'm on my way there. I'm on my way here. Start changing your mindset. Start making sure it's going forward. Not here or there or there. I'm getting there. And when I get there, I'm going to embrace it with my whole life. Peace out, L5, shout. You know how it is. Keep it real. See you in 20.